Good morning, everyone. It's good to connect up with you. Uh, I'm continuing uh, uh, speaking about uh, the women of Holy Week, as recounted by Paula Gooder in this uh, excellent book. Uh, and it's it's easy reading, but but on one level, but uh, quite hard on another. Today, uh, Susanna is the the character in question, uh, and Paula Gooder sets up the scene that Susanna grew up in a rich family, and on the day of her betrothal to her husband. She was given an alabaster jar filled with ointment, perfume, uh, by her father to use on a special occasion. She kept and treasured that. Sadly, her her husband was a scheming, uh, nasty piece of work. Uh, Rich, but but also used to manipulating people. Uh, And so even though she was able to escape his clutches, he spread rumours about her that meant that uh, she she couldn't uh, couldn't face the crowds of people. She couldn't even uh, go to her father and her, her family home because of the shame that her husband had uh, had created in, in the atmosphere. Fortunately, her father could support her through her friend uh, Joanna, who was the uh, Herod's uh, uh, the wife of Herod's steward. And through Joanna and through another uh, friend of Susanna's, Mary Magdala, she came to meet Jesus. And when she met Jesus, she realised that he saw through all the lies and the accusations that uh, that she'd, uh, uh, she'd received. He saw through to her heart. He could see that she truly knew who he was. Dear child, he said, your sins are forgiven. And so she began following him, along with the 12 and a number of uh, others, particularly uh, women who were there supporting him in his ministry. And one day uh, they travelled up to Jerusalem ready for the Passover. She bumped into another two uh, women. One uh, was called Sarah, another was called Anna, who we've heard about previously. Previously, when... when, uh, um, um, when Susanna ha- had bumped into Anna, uh, she felt that her face had told a tragic tale of loss and grief and loneliness. Uh, but on this day, her eyes danced. Anna, old Anna, touched Susanna's hand briefly and gently. Love extravagantly, dear, she said, with your whole heart and soul and mind and strength. And at that moment, Susanna knew the special day had come. Holding at that ointment jar in her hand, she went running, looking for Jesus. She found him in the place of honour, in the room where they were all met, uh, and so she walked past all of them. Normally she'd be crippled by the shame of it, but not now, not today. All those years she'd held on to that bottle, never asked how to open it. She had to break off the lid to be able to pour it extravagantly over him. There was a sense of elation, joyful elation bubbling around her as she did. She poured it over his head. She poured out her love and her gratitude. She poured out her joy and her freedom. She poured out her very self over his head. It was an act of absurdity, but she knew that he would understand. The oil ran down his hair, down his cheeks, he had to, uh, 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 it, it was getting in his eyes and his ears. He had to rub it away with a sleeve and then with the other sleeve. Its pungent smell filled the air. You could hear the muttering swirl around the room as one by one they realised that the jar contained pure nard. Is she mad? That's a year's wages wasted. Just think of all the poor she could have helped. Someone should do something. Jesus looked at her and he winked. His enjoyment uh, uh, of what she'd done was written all over his face. Oh, leave her alone, he said. Today she has anointed my body for burial. I tell you, wherever good news is proclaimed in all the world, what she has done will be told in memory of her. Uh, Susanna skirted the outside of the room as she headed to the door, a warm glow in her heart. Jesus had received a ridiculous, extravagant gift exactly as she'd hoped he might. Better even. He said it would be remembered. He said she would be remembered and talked about forever. She didn't understand what it meant about burial. 
she she'd never seen anyone look more alive but he often said things she didn't understand she stored it away to think about later she could hear them talking about her as she left what was her name again asked one of them don't know mary i think said another let's pray Lord, we thank you for the hope that coming to Jesus can bring, the freedom that knowing him can bring to lives that have been difficult and a struggle and a challenge. And in Jesus, he sees through to our hearts. He sees through all the, the, the rubbish that's accumulated around us. He truly sees us uh, and, and accepts our extravagant worship of him, however that may uh, be poured out. But we thank you for the example of Susanna or Mary, whatever we want to know of her, who we read about, and who we heard this morning. Uh, grow our hearts of worship in us today, hearts of worship for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bless you. Well, another woman of Holy Week will be coming soon, but uh, for now, God bless and connect up soon.